shape the practice schedule and you know what are the plans for the team this Thanksgiving? Uh, well this Thanksgiving we go to the Nittany Lion Inn. Uh, we actually do it every year and it's uh, it's really fun. We have a practice beforehand and then we all get really cute and dressed up in the locker room and uh, we get to go and have really good food prepared at the Nittany Lion Inn and just kind of spend some time with each other and just kind of really realize like how grateful we are and how thankful we are for being able to be here and be with our teammates especially on Thanksgiving. Big road trip coming up this weekend and it stops at Wisconsin and Minnesota. Mm -hmm. You know, right now being top ranked, how do you go about managing expectations with games that are, you know, added a little bit of pressure? Um, I think we we really do a good job of preparing for every game. Like it's it's like it's a big match. I mean, there's not really a time where we're saying, hey, this one match has precedent over the other. It's always we've got to focus on what we need to do on this side of the net, on our side of the net, and then we need to focus on how we can defend versus the oppos uh, opposition. And I don't think that there's been a time where we're putting more pressure on ourselves because we're playing, oh, we got to play so-and-so versus a different team. Um, every team, every team in the Big Ten is good, and every team in the Big Ten is going to want to beat us and beat everybody that they play. And I think that it's just taking it one game at a time. Both Wisconsin and Minnesota, tough environments to play in as a leader, veteran on this team. What are you kind of saying to some of the younger members in terms of being able to keep a level head in those types of hostile environments? Um, just breathe. Just know that like your teammates have your back no matter what. There, there's not a time where we won't look you dead in the eye and say, hey, we got you or hey, you got this. And I think that's something that is really special about this team, that we all trust each other so much. And we, we really do take to heart the fact that we have each other's back no matter what. And um, if someone's killing it, we're going to keep, keep pushing them, keep giving the ball. And if someone's not, we're going to say, hey, we got you. What do you need from us? Um, it's, a, it's a big crowd in either, either arena. And I think that it's a really good challenge for us because going into the tournament, there's going to be a lot of people cheering us on or cheering against us. And it's something that we got to look forward to. Over the last few weekends, we've seen W's in the win column. But really, again, with Coach Rose, has really talked about a lot of improvements, yeah. especially when it comes to kind of the details and finer points of, of what's going on out there. How have you kind of been um, coach is very, very much a realist, and so when you say, when he always says, there's always stuff to improve, there is definitely always something to improve, and it doesn't matter if we get a 3-0 win or a 5-set win, it doesn't matter, it's something that we got to focus on, it's something that we got to say to ourselves, hey, we won, but how can we do this better, and how can we make sure that no matter what we do and no matter what the, the opponent does, how can we improve what we have, um, I think that like go, especially going into Wisconsin and Minnesota, like they're a very good blocking and defending team. And I think that's something that we work on a lot in practice, playing a lot of six on six and making sure that we are like grinding it out and making sure that we're, we're tenacious in our efforts and really trying to get the job done. You mentioned Minnesota and Wisconsin good blocking and defending team. Mm -hmm. What are going to be the keys to kind of coming out of this weekend, 2 and out? Got to hit high and hard. I mean, they're, they're big girls. I mean, uh, they're Wisconsin middle. She's 6'8", so that's a, that's a tough person to hit around, but I know we can do it, and I definitely think that having all, like, the weapons that we have on our team um, and then having, like, great setters also, I think that it's something that it won't, it won't be a challenge for us to, to really kind of put ourselves in a good position to win, but I also think that every team that we play is going to grind, and we got, just got to do it better. We just got to grind harder. Thank you so much. Thank you.